This is how you do the Zegers. Like that! Zegers! <gasps> Zegers! Oh my god, I scored it! That's how you do it. That's literally how you do it. You to score that? I was going for the pass, but I actually ended up scoring it. <gasps> oh, Zegers! Oh my god, I just did it! Back to like 920. Oh! No! Oh, dude, you're kidding me! No, you're joking! Oh! See, no, but we can get it like way better now, I feel like. Zegers, Zegers, Zegers. <gasps> dude! Dude! Come on, bro! Dude! <gasps> no! Oh my god! I'm going for it. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! There's no way! That just happened! Dude! Dude! Yes! Yeah. Oh my god! Wait! I mean, it's your elbow, but like, it still worked. Nah, dude. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. So for those of you that don't know, the Zegers is essentially a Michigan pass where you use the Michigan to pick up the puck flat on your blade, toss it over the net, and then have someone else bat it in for a goal. This is not an intended feature in NHL 22, which is why it's so difficult to pull off, but it technically is possible, just extremely difficult. Now the Trevor Zegers Michigan pass actually has been confirmed to be in NHL 23, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in NHL 22. To do the Zegers pass, you're going to want to use a player with the highest deking rating possible. Now there are two ways to do this. The first is to start on the main menu of NHL, scroll over to more, scroll down to training and practice, and then hit free skate. When you get here, hold down L2 or LB, scroll down to NHL alumni all time, and I recommend using Wayne Gretzky or Mario Lemieux because they have the highest deking rating in the game. The other way to get into a free skate is to go into World of Chell, scroll over to loadouts, and then use a build that has 99 deking. In order to get 99 deking, you're going to have to use a dangler build, scroll over to tactics, bump up the deking rating to 95, and then use a controlled deking or agile deking boost on the boosts. And here's my build, feel free to copy it if you'd like. Then once you're done making the build, under loadouts, hover over the one you want to use, and then hit the options or menu button. Once you're in a free skate, head over to the corner where you would perform a Michigan from. So for righties, head over to the left corner, and for lefties, head over to the right corner. In order to do the Zegers, you're going to have to know how to do the Michigan first. So if you don't know how to do the Michigan, go watch my pinned TikTok or my last YouTube video. Once you've learned how to do the Michigan, you're going to want to apply the same controls to this. The only difference is the positioning and the timing of when you release it. When you do the Michigan normally, you want to start the rotation of the right stick right when the puck is in line with the spine of the net. But for the Zegers, you want to start the rotation of the right stick when the puck is in line with the first puck. Post. So for righties, start the rotation of the right stick when the puck is in line with the left post, and for lefties, start the rotation of the right stick when the puck is in line with the right post. Now these aren't 100% perfect guidelines, it's just a little marker for you to remember when to start it. As you can see right here, I started it just a little bit before the post, but it is just an arbitrary guideline. Besides this, the goal of what we're trying to do is to guide the puck up the back of the net. And because the Michigan animation gives the puck elevation, it allows it to launch over the net. But like I said before, it is a glitch, so it's not going to work perfectly every time. Sometimes it literally will launch over the net, like to the moon. And other times it'll hit your elbow and result in a horizontal flip. Which in my opinion, the horizontal flip is a little more authentic to the actual thing, but that's besides the point. The main goal is just to do the Michigan early so that you can guide the puck up the back of the net. When you have a partner that's trying to bat the puck in though, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. The bat animation was intended for tipping deflections off the goalie and in, which means that it's incredibly random, and there's no way to intentionally do it. I have had it happen before where the puck bounces on the ice first and then the player bats it in, but I don't have a clip of it, so here's a clip from Queso Paguni, and I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Now as you can see here, he actually got the computer to get the batting animation on two separate occasions. The first one was a bounce off the ice like I was saying before, and the second one was actually pretty clean, it was almost an exact replication. And he actually said this in his video, but this is probably the closest anyone's going to get to replicating this in NHL 22. Now as I said before, this takes a lot of time and effort to get an actual clean attempt, so be sure to go check out his video and I'll link it in the description. But anyways, just to sum up how to do it, I would say try to do the Michigan earlier than normal and that way it'll guide the puck to flip over the net. And that's how to do the Zegers in NHL 22. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll try to get to all of them. But I will see you guys in the next video.